What is this project? Before introducing it, let's go back to the original project. Let's call it the Tutor Project. Young European professionals in psychiatry and mental health were sent each year for a few days on an internship to the four corners of Europe during three years. The logic of the Tutor Project was to make trainees discover other work contexts in psychiatry and mental health. The aim was to help improving and harmonizing the practices of European professionals working with people with mental disorders. Each trainee was followed by a tutor. The idea was that this tutor, from the host country, having more experience than the trainee and being of the same profession as the trainee, could help him fully benefit of this experience. In three years, 122 psychiatric and mental health professionals mainly between 20 and 35 years old, traveled to 10 European countries. There were paramedics and other professionals. While the project was successful, its evaluation highlighted the need to train tutors. This has led to a second project. Let's call it the Tutor Plus project. European professionals in psychiatry and mental health participate in a training program for tutors. There is one training session per year for three years, one in Belgium for French speakers and the other one in Romania for English speakers. The logic of the Tutor Plus project is to train professionals to become tutors or tutor trainers. This is not only to ensure an adequate support to the trainees and permit the improvement of their practices, but also to change the perspective of the tutors on their own practices. Now it's time for testimonials. Trainees, tutors and partners of the project will tell you more about it. Hello, I'm very glad to celebrate with you Erasmus Days 2020. And first of all, let's share a cup of coffee together. I have to choose my mug in my, in my collection and I will choose from our city, it's Namur, in Belgium. What do Erasmus projects mean to me? You are a manager, an entrepreneur. You work in a sector of activity that you want to energize. You want to improve the knowledge of your employees. You like diversity, you are curious. I just about. Don't miss this Erasmus days. Erasmus projects are an innovative level. Be convinced of the impact of Erasmus projects in the field of adult education in Europe, as I am. I'll see you soon in Europe. Vividi and Tutor Erasmus Plus 2018-2021 project aims to train and certify professional in psychiatry and mental health of tutors for young professionals working in the field of mental health, professionals in their role of companions to novice professionals, and future tutoring candidates. This training program for tutors in psychiatry is a great pedagogical challenge for, for our high school of applied sciences in charge of academical, Uh, professional development and certification for tutors candidates who have followed the three training modules. This uh, training program is organized with the collaboration of the University of Arad in Romania. This program includes a review of the literature on tutoring and offers a toolbox for tutor candidates in this European project. Because we want the Hôtecole de la Province de Namur to be committed to a policy of European openness to promote partnerships with psychiatric care institutions in order to offer quality in psychiatric care, we are proud to participate in this beautiful European project VETMH Tutor Erasmus 2018-2021. Hi, my name is Claudio. I'm a psychologist and one of the members of the Mental Health Association here in Spain, Elche. 
As a team, we have had a wonderful experience working in the tutor program since we have got to know different people from different parts of Europe to learn from the way they are working and also to share the way we are working here. And I must say that beyond the professional level, the fact that you get to know people from those countries, finally they become your friends. And when something happens in any of those countries, it's not just a country. You have faces there, you have friends there, and that just brings us all together. I think that learning from their work, their language, their culture is a fantastic way to create something new, to build something together. Hello. The Tutor Project is a great experience for Axel. We are lucky to coordinate scientific and professional production in book form for a collective synthesis. This is an opportunity to get to know our experience partner better and to build together a common culture uh, with our differences. Hello, participate on a European program in one word, I just say wow. It's a really great experience to exchange with people come from other countries, with their culture, with new approach for to work with the patient. We come back always with more power for to work. The primary objective of the WHO Collaborative Center is to ensure the effective participation of mental health users in each of the actions that concern them. Recent work has made this participation efficient in the field of care, of research, and increasingly in teaching. But few experiences have allowed their participation in the development of training programs and their evaluation. And this is exactly what the Tutor Plus project allows and what gives it its essential and innovative aspect. In this sense, it allows our center to remain in line with the strong values of our institution. Romania became part of the first European tutoring process and psychiatry and mental health project in the fall of 2016 with the first transnational mobility. The first stage was extended during 2018-2021 with a new vocational and educational training project in mental health, TutoVet. At the country level, this European Erasmus Plus project was represented by the Aurel Blyck University of Arad. We have coordinated a few periods of tutoring exchanges. To our university, the experience of tutor project was a new trend and opportunity to develop good practice through international exchanges while acquiring skills and improving the competences of psychiatric professionals. Another innovative experience was the exchange opportunity for tutors who were involved in activity for their training. Thus, Inter-university exchanges were made. Through the European Tutoring Project, the professionals had great experiences in the field of psychiatry and cultural exchanges. COVID-19 pandemic represents a particular situation for us. The project participants had to adapt to the new rules and thus the debates were carried out online. We are looking forward to non-pandemic times when mobility can be done traditionally. We wish you all the best in the upcoming Erasmus Plus European project. Almost 10 years after our first Erasmus Plus experience and the organization is still reaping benefits. The professionals were able to visualize and see practical ways of introducing new uh, measures and services. Uh, they learned how to criticize our own services they learned to think outside the box. They have learned so many new things. On a professional level, we are also still in touch with people we met 10 years ago, and we still, in an informal way, exchange ideas and help our respective organizations to grow for the ultimate benefit of our patients. My dear European friends, hello. I was asked to go straight to the point. I reckon this will be a challenge. Why, you ask? I've been retired for the past 10 years now. Some of you know me since the beginning of these European programs. And time flies. I proudly endorse the responsibility of embarking you all on an inspiring trip towards knowledge and professional skills development. On top of this, in one of the most beautiful 
and rewarding field of activities, healthcare. Like you, I spent 40 years facing events. Some of them brought difficult times. But the European project turned out to be the best part of it. I don't regret anything would I have known how wonderful it was going to be, would I have started straight away with this beautiful project. 30 years already working hard at promoting and sharing knowledge and work skills. I'm deeply satisfied to see that everything went behind expectation, thanks to you. I'm rather proud to be at the start of this adventure and the dynamism that seal you all has a trustworthy and capable group fill me with pride and confidence towards the future. Your skills will be spot and recognized wherever you go. Like Julius Caesar said, may you carry on saying Veni, Vidi, Vici, and thank you Erasmus, keep up with the good work. Well, a trip I can remember was to Dav in Belgium, and I brought back an umbrella that I was given as a gift. And that always reminds me of the weather in Belgium, how rainy it was. I live in the Canary Islands, so I wasn't used to it. And also how warm the people were. Very heavy suitcases and of course very intimate and light memories. Knowledge and more tips to do better my work because uh, in healthcare the best thing that you can do is work on uh, a keep. So uh, it's wonderful to see how other countries work on the same stuff that you work. The most important benefit of taking part in Suite of Lars is the meeting experience of these four beautiful countries. What I brought back was the realization, firstly, on a professional level that throughout Europe practices are very uh, varied and very interesting and very different. So that was very rich uh, as an experience. And also during my this tutor program, I fell in love with a French colleague <laughs> who proved, uh, well, who turned out to be the love of my life. <laughs> I guess my best souvenir back to Greece was meeting new people from other countries and have the chance to interact and work with them. This great experience and um, very nice uh, feelings about people I met and things I, I learned and uh, more uh, a wider view of tutoring and training mm -hmm. and organizing a training. Uh, I, it was just a very nice experience to see people from different countries come together and discuss about one issue and it was very nice that we have a uh, share our experience and our knowledge together. Yeah, me too. Participating in Erasmus Plus program gave me the courage to begin my own practice as a psychologist and offered me a new point of view uh, to work effic efficiently with teenagers and adolescents. I would say a dictionary because English wasn't always enough for everybody and especially the taxi drivers. The thing that I should have taken with me is more time to spend in order to have the chance to see more places in Romania. The thing that I miss more in the Erasmus program um, was the time, just because there were so much to do and so less time, but for the rest it was so full of, of things that I didn't miss nothing at all. My coffee maker. I love a good strong cup of coffee in the morning. I would take a jacket because it was too cold than I expected and my good uh, colleague uh, borrowed me one. And I would uh, take uh, two more days off to be with the uh, people I met and uh, travel a, a little bit more. <laughs> I would take with me my curiosity to think and learn about new things <laughs> in this trip. What I missed most during the exchanges was seeing colleagues, specifically uh, speech therapists in situ. So I should have taken a broader expectation and a broader pluridisciplinary vision of the work that I was going to witness. The thing that impressed me the most was Romania as a country and the differences between Romania and Greece. I guess how people that barely know each other with so many differences can interact and cooperate so effectively.
the organization because all was organized very well all the places are were wonderful and all the people were very lovely and funny to be together my most wow moment was seeing all the different theoretical and uh, philosophical if i may say approaches of therapy and of mental health and also realizing that we all have our difficulties and so exchanging uh, point of views is vital. I think it was the, the passion that I, I saw from the trainers and uh, the people that organized all this uh, training. I liked it very much that they, they had a, a, a positive energy to meet us and talk to us and train us and do things together. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was very nice to see that uh, people who are behind all of this project uh, believe in that and it was very encouraging for us to feel like big home and to have such a great hospitality to all of us. Just let it flow. <laughs> we love you. So my help moment was during the first trip where I realized that French colleagues were more at ease speaking French. My Greek colleagues were not, not at ease speaking French. My French was rusty. Uh, du coup, it was poli discolo. Help. <laughs> uh, for me, uh, it was uh, the barrier of the language. Sometimes I didn't understand uh, the uh, yeah, the meaning, the translation, it took two times and three times to rethink about it and re-read uh, it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes the language was a difficulty for me also. Mm -hmm. To explain what I really feel and what I really believe in my in a different language was a, a little bit difficult for me. But th that's the charm of the experience. Yeah. <laughs> Would I take part in another Erasmus program? Yes, I continue to work in Erasmus, um, especially in the areas of virtual exchange, youth work and online education. So, yeah. So, stop or play again. And my answer to that is absolutely positively play. I am still playing and I will keep playing at any given opportunity. The title of this project is possible thanks to the Erasmus Plus program and is co-funded by the European Commission. <laughs>